So when you first get your calling, at least when I was at my time, they gave you a uh, just a welcome letter from the president. And what I remember seeing was a lot of canoes, a lot of rivers, jungle. And so in my mind, you know, I'm freaking out. I Google, you know, Manaus, Brazil, and you see just everything's green, except for this one tiny little spot <laughs> of dirt is what it looks like. And that's your mission. Uh, I mean, the mission is about four states, but when I first arrived there, um, you're, you're kind of landing and you see just the same thing, rivers everywhere. Um, and then to the left of you, to the right of you, north, south, whatever, it's all green. And you just see this runway coming in. So, and then once I step out of the plane, you don't, it's not like here where you have that transition kind of port thing where you walk off, um, uh, when you board on and off, uh, you walk right out onto the airport, um, the, uh, what do you call it? I guess the highway or landing area. So you, you see all the airplanes. As soon as you that door's open, you hit that door, it's just, it's a wall of humidity. And that was, I think, one of the, <laughs> the coolest, kind of scariest moment, because I, I was a little nervous about how hot it was gonna be, and it was hot. It was really hot. And, you know, it's a good thing, bad thing, however you take it. I actually kind of like the hot, because I'm from California originally. So you get off there, you go directly to the mission office and you get an interview with the president and then get to kind of feel around. You see how everything's run. Um, so that was my initial experience driving from the airport, um, a little poor, um, somewhat developed, surprisingly more developed than I anticipated initially, just because it being the jungle, everyone thinks there's nothing else but jungle up there. And so that was really nice to see that it was civilized to some point um but uh that was one of the most impressive moments i think in my mission going to the mission home um office i guess you get to meet the president for the first time uh, you get a picture initially but uh, my mission president pres uh, initially was president pahela um he was there for a little bit he was a um a 70 before he came um stake president and a bishop whatnot and man, he had the gift of discernment. Um, it was, um, I remember how shocked I was initially because one of the elders came out of the room after he was interviewed just with his face all stunned because he word for word almost kind of explained his patriarchal blessing. I don't know if, I, if that's too deep to share, but I remember I was like impressed. I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is an intense mission. <laughs> and, you know, I think any, any authority in the church, any general authority, stake president, anyone that has keys, when they just look at you right in the eyes, you could feel, you know, Christ's love at the same time. You could feel the power that they have from the priesthood and, and you know why you're here. And, uh, just really excited. We got to eat dinner with them. Um, have a cool little little home um and some, some building so that was fun and then we got to meet our first companion and uh that was really fun to see all the missionaries trying to like joke oh you're gonna be my companion no you're gonna be you know trying to joke with you the americans and the brazilians it was kind of hard to understand both because <laughs> you're still learning portuguese so you hear some english and it throws you off a little bit but uh the first night was kind of rough. <laughs> Luckily, my companion was nice enough to buy a mosquito net for me. Um, so we got to we sleep with mosquito nets the first night. Um, the water actually um, there's this big box on top of the roof of the houses, and uh, when we got home, the water actually was gone. There was no more water left, and so. Um, well, there's a little bit, but the shower wasn't working. So we had to take bucket showers the first night. I remember that was pretty fun. <laughs> but uh, no air conditioning, don't expect that. There was one house I was in that had it for a second because some elder bought it. But uh, it's just going to be hot the whole time. And usually what you do is you soak yourself with the bucket of water or drench yourself before you go to bed. Lay in bed, let the fan dry you. The next morning you're completely dry. And so... That was kind of my initial experience uh, getting there.